The electric company is concerned that the growing rate of plug-in hybrids in the market will require them to build higher capacity electricity lines. The average consumption of energy is 12,000 kilowatt hours in the USA. They conduct a survey of 100 houses in an eco-friendly neighborhood with many plug-in vehicles and find that the average consumption is 14,000 kilowatt hours in that neighborhood with a sample standard deviation of 900 kilowatt hours. Can the electric company be 99% sure that this neighborhood has higher than average consumption patterns? Let's start by writing down what we know. And we can do that over here. We know that X bar, the consumption in the, in the eco-friendly neighborhood, was actually 1400, 14,000 kilowatt hours with a standard deviation of 900 and a sample size of 100. They want to be 99% sure. So we'll set alpha to 1 minus 99, 0 0.01, or 1%. So first let's state the null hypothesis. In this case, the null hypothesis is that the neighborhood has average has average consumption patterns. So the null hypothesis is that mu, the average consumption in that eco-friendly neighborhood is the same elsewhere, 12,000 kilowatt hours. The alternative, and let's look at the wording to make sure of the directionality. Can the electric company be sure that there's higher than average consumption? So the null hypothesis is that the consumption in the neighborhood is going to be above 12,000. Step two, we have a z-test because the sample size was 100. Step three, we already concluded that the significance level should be 0 0.01. Step four, let's draw the picture. So it's a right-tailed test, so we're going to have one critical value over here and we're going to have 1% of the area over there. Based on this, we can use the 98% confidence, because that's going to put 1% in each tail. So the critical value is 2.33. Step 5, let's compute the test. Z equals X bar minus the hypothesized mean divided by the standard error of the of the mean. 12,000 minus 14,000 all over, well, let me write it out properly. Twelve thousand. Oh, I'm sorry. 14,000 minus 12,000. And here we have to have s over root n. So s was 900, n was 100. The standard error of the mean is going to be 900 over 10, which equals 90. equals 22.2. So the z-score, that's a really high z-score, the z-score is way out over here. The, the test statistic is way out over here, well into the zone of, accept, of rejection. So in step six, we reject the null. This neighborhood does not have a consumption of 12,000 kilowatt hours. It's much more likely that the average consumption in that neighborhood is more than 12,000 kilowatt hours. If you look at what we've done here, this is the z-score of 0 0.0. 0.0. 
corresponding to an, a mean of 12,000 hours. So in the probability of obtaining a test score way out in the tail, if in fact the null hypothesis is true, is really, really, really small. The probability associated with a z-score of 22 is probably something close to one in a million. So there's almost no chance that we would have seen a neighborhood mean of 14,000 kilowatt hours if in fact the true mean of that neighborhood was 12,000 kilowatt hours. So we have to reject the null hypothesis.